Hyundai Tucson. Hello, everyone. Welcome back out to Car Shield Field. YBM Cast, Youth Baseball Midwest, GAC Classic, the nightcap of the Central between the Holt Indians and the Fort Zumwalt East Lions. Let's get into some starting lineups here. First for the visiting Holt Indians. Leading off, playing third base, number one, Kyle Edgar in the two-hole. Playing right field, number 31, Calder Vitale in a three hole playing second base number 13 Nate Cruz in the four hole the catcher number two and a fan favorite he's a dog number four Chase Lasseter that's my guy man I love Chase and in the five hole playing first base number 21 Caleb Evans and the six hole in left field, number four, Gavin Poindexter. In the seven hole, the DH, number seven, Jacob Ketterman. And in the eight hole, center fielder, Carter Griffin. And in the nine hole, at shortstop, number 12, Mark Hunter. Or excuse me, Mark Hunt. On the hill for the Holt Indians will be number 24, Dalton Hosack. Mitch, I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, we had that. Uh, were you out there with us on that one? Liberty Holt last year. It was Hosack, two lefties, man, dealing his one nothing ball game. Um, he's capable of that every time he steps out on the mound, Mr. Hosack. Yeah, I've had, you know, uh, the one thing about Winsfield is they still play each other. You know, you have, you have a school in each um, of the divisions. Uh, but they still all play to each other, and it's always, you know, who represents Winsfield. Uh, Coach Hellman talked about it yesterday, but it's a real thing, and so I've had the luxury of seeing Hosack pitch um, since his freshman year, and um, I'm sure the, the conference and the area will be happy when he moves on to college. <laughs> For the home team Lions, we've got leading off in center field, number 31, Jackson Carter. Uh, can absolutely fly. Number two in the two, excuse me in the two hole play behind the plate. Number five, Braden Weber, in the three hole on the mound for the Lions. Number twenty seven, Brendan Pyle, in the four hole, playing shortstop tonight. Uh, number seven, Eric Williams at third base in the five hole. Uh, number two, Lonnie Land in the six hole, playing right field. Number 16, Ryan Cleethermis in the seven hole, playing first base. Number six, Maverick Schultz in the eight hole. In left field, number 12, Aiden Wheeler. And in the nine hole, at second base, number one, Gavin King. So that's our starting lineups here. We got two pitches. Lights are coming on. Uh, nightcap of another great day of baseball here. The GAC Classic Central. Um, here we go, Mitch. I'm excited. It's the first time I've seen Pyle on the bump, uh, so I don't know what he quite has. Uh, I know the profile of this young man. Um, he's been uh, seen on many PBR events, yes. numbers, rankings. Um, but I'm excited to actually see him pitch today. I am too. I haven't seen him pitch either. Yep. Uh, I've seen Hollingsworth a couple times. So tonight, and uh, we want to sh give a shout out to Carter Hollingsworth, who uh, is in the hospital recovering. Uh, ha I was speaking to his family. Uh, some an illness. It was pretty serious. Looks like he's going to be okay. But we want to wish him to get well and get well soon. Yeah, absolutely. You hate to see that in a young man, young life. So keep fighting, there, buddy. See you back on the field. Absolutely. So a quick 3-0 and to the leadoff, Kyle Edgar. I love this kid here. He's got a lot of grit, Mitch. Yep. I like what he did there. He turned yep. around and said, hey, my bad. Pick up the bat, get back in the box. Yep, but he likes that side of the corner. Foul tipped into the glove. For strike two, so we have a 3-2 count now. 
Fastball on the outer half for out number one. That's tough. Uh, that's tough. I mean, that's not a. That's nothing you can do with that baseball, anyways. Just got to try to fight that off. Just that's get right. lucky to get yourself another pitch. Just put a put a barrel. Put the end of the bat on it. Something. Get it foul. Yep. Something. You know, that's that's what I've noticed about some of the best hitters in the game. Carter Vitale takes a curveball for strike it one. Is the ability to foul the baseball off? Like spoil good pitching, yeah, you know, and not Agreed. poke it out in, in fair territory. One of the things that I struggle with as a hitter is, you know, I'd get a certain pitch, say it's off speed, and I'm down two strikes. I'd stick my butt out and just try to put it in play, you know, versus <laughs> the old butt out swing, yeah, right? And put it yeah. in play because that's what they just put a ball in play. Well, when you get some of these elite hitters, they'll hit a foul ball. Yeah, you give themselves, yeah, you, you know, I'll make, I'll let you make a mistake. Um, a line drive right at Klee Thermos. Didn't even move. Didn't even move. Out number two brings up Nate Cruz, who is swinging the bat very well for this whole team. We heard that from uh, Coach Perkle. In the, uh, I know you're trying to kill them fries, so go ahead. I got this. Kill your fries, baby. I know it's late. Go ahead. I just wanted to let everybody know I had cheese in my ear. So I was just trying to dig that out of there. Is that's why I was in a hurry for I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a large gentleman. So I've uh, I can eat and uh, Woo! talk at the same time. You see the I can't walk jumped. and chew gum, but I can eat and talk. So we got a one-one count here to cruise a foul off, and and that ball came back. It surprised her because she was looking back and talking to her friends. I noticed there's another ginger over there on Holt. Number 21, who is that? Number 21? For Holt. I don't know. But uh, we got the next pitch. Misses low. 3-1 now. The count to Cruz. Caleb Evans. Ground ball. Foul. Coach Anselm. Yeah, that's 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 way, you know. Let it go. You don't see this. Uh, you don't see this dynamic too often. Usually, the head no, coach is, you know, over there at third base. But uh, Coach Rick Anselm, he's been around a while. He's been around a while. We were just talking about prior to the game. Swing and a miss. Good pitch. Gets Cruz swinging and Pyle uh, gets a one-two-three first inning. We'll be back here. No score for the Indians. The Lions coming up. Guys, uh, talk to us about uh, legacy. What has it been? Uh, how has it helped you uh, continue to grow as players? Uh, it's been really good. Practices are very structured, um, and the facility is really nice. We can get in there and get swings whenever we need, and it's overall pretty nice. Legacy Performance Academy is a unique sports facility that encompasses strength training, speed and agility training, pitching lessons, hitting lessons, fielding and catcher training, a recovery room with focus on injury prevention, and youth developmental and elite high school baseball teams. Contact Legacy Performance Academy at 636-579-7346, located at 633 Goddard Avenue in Chesterfield, Missouri. The game is changing, would you say, Brian? Yes, it is, Mitch. You know, we're watching a young man on the bump get loose and uh, kind of doing the walk, kind of a walk, you know, walk through, if you will. And, you know, it's I, I guess for me, um, you know, in softball, you'd see this a lot. You know, it's part of some of the drills that you would do. Is is you'd walk through and, you know, let her rip, make sure you're feeling good and loose, if you will. Um, and so for the, it's just probably something mentally for him than it is, you know, trying to actually achieve something. I love the run on his ball as it runs away from right-handers. My the, goodness. The sinker-slider combination, um, I think that's what makes this young man the pitcher that he is. I forget where he's going to school. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah. That's a good call. We're going to look that up. I'll get it for you, Mitch. 
Because that's the way I roll. That's the way I roll. <laughs> but it'll have to be between innings. And we'll come back to that. We'll come back. He's gonna he's gonna pitch more than one, so we'll we'll get that info. We'll get that out to you. All right, leading off, who is on a tear right now? Jackson Carter swings and a mi- swings and misses. That's outside, ball one. You know, we were talking about ballpark food earlier. Have you ever gone to the Grizzlies field and had the uh, Krispy Kreme burger? That's a strike. I have not. I highly recommend if you get a chance to go to a game over there. to, to, to You might want to share it. It's going to give you a little sugar rush. Carter's hitting 383 on the year so far, Mitch. Now, this is the one thing that always he's got uh, – 17 runs scored, 11 RBIs, uh, two triples and a home run, and it's grounded to the shortstop. That little nope. bobble, and he's safe. Wow, Just a bobble. Fly. You cannot bobble it. Nope. Well, you know what's going to happen here. I'm going to go ahead and call it. We're going to see some action. Where are you going to see? You going to see a bunt? No, I don't think Coach. Now, this is where Coach Hill is No, no, no. He ain't going to give it up. I'm gonna, it, oh, okay. There's going to be some things that are going to happen, whether oh. he shows, steal, pull back, you know, first, third stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Them French fries are getting to me. <laughs> now, that, that is, would you give that an error or just an infield single, Mitch? Uh, that ball's to the backstop. That ball bounced. Nothing last or could do with in. that. Good job. That came off the plate. Yep. Nothing you can do about it. A little communication with a runner at second base. I think I think the conversation here, if you're Coach Hill, is is hey, I'm going to give you one. Um, I mean, he knows his team way better than I do, but I'm going to give you one. Uh, go get it. If you miss it, we're going to bunt, and I can give you a sign. I got you. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. You see that, see when that. You, in those situations, those kind of conversations. Ooh, good cut. Oh, that came oh. through there. She didn't flinch that time, but the ball came through. Wow. That's dangerous. <laughs> wow. I haven't seen that before. One and one. I, I, I think she's got that on camera. To Brandon Weber, or excuse me, Braden Weber. And that's to the fence. So a couple of balls that have gotten away from Hosack here and have advanced Carter all the way or all the way to uh, third base. This is this is where I felt like as you know I've seen Hosack pitch three times against Timberland in my years over there coaching, and I felt like all three times our best opportunity was the first. Oh, and he hits Weber, puts him. I agree. I always think that's true of most really good pitchers. If you don't, if you're going to get them, you got to get them early. Got to get them early. So the hit by pitch, and we got the uh, courtesy runner, number 17, Grant Bishop. Brendan Pyle, the pitcher, uh, this kid is good with, I mean, he uh, he kind of fills out that uniform, this young man. Yeah, just, just a sophomore, 2026. Strike one. I like what they did there. One Battery. thing that I like about him and his approach, he has great plate discipline. He doesn't chase a lot, Mitch. It's it's very rare to see that in today's young players um, because of such the free swinging inside of practice. You know, we talked about it on a previous game. Ground ball to the shortstop. Nice play out at one. Nice finish. And a pick out at two. Or excuse me, out at two and then out at one. I messed that up. There you go. See? So the double play turned by Holt. The 6-4-3, but the run scores. Hey, you'll take that. You'll trade that, right? Absolutely. And, you know, it, it's always, again, I, I always go back to these things. I'm sure sometimes people don't, you know, I go back and forth on this. But, you know, we've seen a lot of times the infield play in in mm-hmm. games like this because you know what kind of players are on the mound. Holt played it back. Say, I'll give you that run, but I'm going to flip two here. And they did. Yep. They did a nice job there. Yep, and Hosack needed that to get out of, you know, to help him help his own cause. That is uh, Mark Hunt 
making that turn to the second baseman, Nate Cruz. This is normally your everyday third baseman for East, correct? That is correct. 0-2 to Williams. Going to Mississippi Valley State. Takes a big hack. I like the old stirrups that he's got on. The man on deck. Oh, yeah. There you go. That is Lonnie Land on deck. You the want, fourth. You, Yep, you want to talk about a uh, dude on the ice? Uh, he's a big boy too. Yeah, and, uh, I, right. He's a he's a good hockey player yep, too, isn't he? Really good hockey player. Williams just got a piece of that. Kind of, I think he's a little upset with himself. He missed that pitch. One and two still. Yeah, hey, you don't want to. You you want to make sure of the opportunities that you're going to get against a guy like Hosack because he's not going to give you too many baseballs to hit. That are you, cookies. You know, when we talk about this, Mitch, and that ball is That's hammered crazy. into center field. Back on it wow. is the center fielder. Making the catch is Carter Griffin for the third out, but uh, Williams barreled that. I thought he hit it a little better. Yeah, I did too. He, he made it look easy. After one, Lions one, Indians nothing. What better feeling than watching your son or daughter pitch their best game, catch the game winning out, or crush a stand-up double? That comes with talent and long hours of hard work that get them there. That's exactly where Legacy Performance Academy comes in. Matching the hours of work, drive, and dedication to help your athlete build a legacy that lasts. Contact Legacy Performance Academy at 636-579-7346, located at 633 Goddard Avenue in Chesterfield, Missouri. It's go time. I am I am on. I am live. I am back live. Uh, we have a good start. We, we had uh, anticipated this coming into the game, having these two guys on the bump that we might get through some innings quick, and they might get us out of here before 9 o'clock again like last night um, with some of the games going later. Um, but uh, he's still got to play. So um, I'm excited again to see this young man again come out and, and pitch and then host sack the senior. Here we go. Chase Lasseter leading off the top of the second inning, Mitch. <laughs> that must have been one of the kids that came in earlier to remind us that he got the wrong one. It's a nor it's a Zumwalt North kid. That's a North guy. That ball is hammered into deep right field. Back on it at the wall is Clemer and makes what a the play. catch. As he slams what into the play. wall. Heck of a play by Ryan Cleethermus to steal extra bases from Chase Lack. Gave that a ride. Gave what a play, young man in right field. Wow. I'm gonna go on a limb and say he won't throw that pitch again. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't. Caleb Evans. Take strike one. You know, and look at where Cleethermus, he isn't playing real deep. Mitch. Nope. And, and he might have scooped back, you know, with him up because he's lefty. But, you know, he may have played back his, uh, the previous batter. But, again, he, he's still probably, what, 60, 70 feet? Yeah. You know, the track that ball down and then he running through the wall. Like he ran through the wall. You know what I mean? Yes. He didn't stop, get scared. He he looked which is much got a good different feel. than the regular high school field, right? Mm -hmm. Well, some some like some high schools don't even have warning tracks. Right. You know, it's just grass mm -hmm. to fence. So we got a 2-2 count, big rip on that fouled back. Wooden chase up three and two. Full count to Evans. Poindexter is on deck. Beautiful night. The wind's calmed. It's just fouled out of play. 
This is uh, one of those great uh, spring summer baseball. I shouldn't say summer, but spring baseball nights. This is this is one of my favorite things to do. Is is play like this twilight. Uh, this it's typically Tied up. yeah typically tough to see at like this time of night. Mm -hmm. But it's the feel of the heat of the day, then the cool of the night that happens, and I I absolutely love night games for that reason. Plus, I'm a ginger. It, you Curve know. ball misses. Plus, <laughs> I'm a ginger. I got to stay out Dude, of the you sun. you can't keep using that for an excuse. I have to stay out of the sun then. <laughs> I, I just, I, you know, everybody asks me if I'm all right, and they bring me waters, which, you know, may be to my benefit because <laughs> I'm out there in long sleeve tops and bucket hats that are six feet around diameter. Or radius. I'm not sure the difference. It's the difference I'm between diameter and radius. Diameter is the whole thing. Radius is between. Uh. Oh, that's a line shot. It's going to beat Carter to the fence. One hops it. Carter got to it. Oh, and he overthrows the cutoff. Nice job by the first baseman to be there for that. Point Dexter, that was a shot. The ball was scorched. I, I'm, uh, I'm a little shocked that they didn't wheel him the whole time, uh, given the place where we're at in the lineup for Holt. But, Jacob uh, Ketterman, the DH, coming up. I, I, I thought they should have sent him and, you know, well, with the th you know, it's hard because you don't know. You can't, but you got to make him, make him make a play. Make him make a play. Strike one. Holt's got to know because that there's a couple kids rush, out of place too. That's when accidents happen. Mm. That and bad can, throws mm, happen too. I ain't got a gallbladder, so I 100 percent understand that. <laughs> the DH <laughs> swing and a miss. Strike two. There's one out here. Pyle in some trouble after getting that one-run lead. He's got two on, one out, and he's 0-2 here to Ketterman. Another curveball grounded. Oh, base running error, and he's out. Nice job by Lonnie Land there. Didn't rush. Made it. We've seen two throws from third baseman over the head of the catcher this week. We sure did, and he and he right away looked right at him and just kind of started running towards him. There's a difference in some speed that was over there. Granted, for you know the difference between Holt and some of the other guys, but um, you know that must have been a contact play. We're going on contact because uh, that ball was hit a little too hard. Yeah. To go, so yeah. I wonder if they just had to see it down. And I personally. I don't like the contact play. I see it at the major leagues now. You know, everybody, oh, we're going on contact. The The old rule was, hey, let it get past the infield. Don't make that out there at third base. I, I, you know, make them throw it across, especially in high school. The bunt, pile comes up, out number three. Um, I'm a little surprised at that play, but we'll talk about that when we come back. Going to the bottom of the second inning, the Lions won, Indians nothing. Guys, uh, talk to us about uh, legacy. What has it been? Uh, how has it helped you uh, continue to grow as players? Greg? I feel I feel like they've been helping my knowledge in baseball advance from where it was last year, and helping like me know my swing and know my mechanics better than I could anywhere else. Legacy Performance Academy is a unique sports facility that encompasses strength training, speed and agility training, pitching lessons, hitting lessons, fielding and catcher training, a recovery room with focus on injury prevention, and youth developmental and elite high school baseball teams. Contact Legacy Performance Academy at 636-579-7346, located at 633 Goddard Avenue in Chesterfield, Missouri. Welcome back to the show. 
the YBM broadcast. Uh, that was an interesting situation there we just saw. Um, you know, you got a head scratcher there. Yeah, you got to know your players though, and if he's a guy that can get it down like that, maybe a, you know, but he hasn't had too many opportunities this year to really showcase what he's had. He's only had four bats. Lonnie Land leading off the bottom of the second inning takes ball one. Land made a nice play on that grounder coming home, getting the out, cutting the runner down, and a ground ball is going to get through the hole. There you go. That is baseball, ain't it? I love it. Make a good, make a nice play. I know that was kind of routine, if you will, for for some people think that's routine, but I feel like after what we saw, that was a, you know, he ran right to him, set himself, turned it through, get the out at four. So Clee Thermos made a heck of a catch in right field, hitting the wall, uh, is up here, opportunity to uh, keep this thing going. Bunts and bunts it foul. There you go. The box. Now there is a spot where you you can kind of see that. Well, yeah. I mean, again, where are you at in your lineup, right? You're in the mm -hmm. sixth spot, I guess, sixth spot for um, Ford Zumwalt East, and so he's probably a guy that can do that. He's a guy that can probably bunt, maybe hit and run. And that hit him in the big toe. I uh, yeah, buddy, the big toe. That is not. I, we talked about it yesterday, and we're not going to talk about it again. But no, don't we'll, get an we'll, ingrown we'll toenail. Away. Okay, Maverick Schultz. Love that name. Maverick. Yeah, I, I went to high school with his dad. Did you really? Yep. So I know Maverick again. It, it's it's hard to come to the park it's, these days. Minute. Who don't you know? Mitch? That's I never met a stranger. <laughs> I knew at a young age that I was going to be that guy. And a bunt, and it is foul. I think he's trying to plead in his case. Yeah, maybe he was out of the box or something. Yeah. But yeah, I knew at a young age I was I was that guy because I had a personality like my father did, and he you know, everywhere he went, he's like he knew somebody, mm -hmm. and so it was the added age of. Never met a stranger, kind of thing. Right, right. And I'm uh, with yeah, I uh, I enjoy life too much yeah, it's fun to not say to hi folks. to somebody. Yeah, just folks, man. First and second, no outs. We'll see if the bunt here it comes, and it's fouled back again. First base, bud. And uh, you know, before you start to run, this is a sacrifice opportunity to get it, get the bunt down. I think he looks like he's trying to bump for a hit there, Mitch. Yeah, and when you do that, you uh, take yourself out of the sack situation. Now, maybe people understand that, but if you try to attempt to bump for a hit, it's actually and you move runners over, it's still not a sacrifice. So, 0-2. Oh Ball misses low. And it's probably hard to bunt hoe sack stuff to begin with. Well, what I I mean, he's he lives on that side of the plate. Uh, he's a left-handed thrower. I would just push it to the second baseman. I wouldn't even try to bunt that down to third base. And right. That's what I felt like right. he was doing was trying to push it down to third base. Oh, got him looking great off speed. Just that slider dives back in. Get Schultz looking. Yep, uh, it, he. Uh, I would say that Hosack, in, at his best, was tough to strategize against as a hitting coach uh, and a hitting guy, is because he would pitch backwards at time. And I always thought him and Chase always did a great job at ba as battery. Aiden Wheeler, left fielder, ground ball, cut off. Edgar has one play over to first. Nice job. Get the out. <laughs> he wasn't looking. He looked down and do something. He flicked the ball back to him. There you go. Schultz couldn't get that bunt down. Strikes out. Ground ball. You're two outs now. It happens that quick. It does. And that that is the the. I you know they practice execution all the time. The bunt and you you're seeing it a lot in this conference. Um, for the most part, they're pretty good at getting bunts down. Everybody has to practice it, whether you're the leadoff hitter or the number four hitter. Uh, you got to get bunts down. It's expected. Gavin King, the second baseman. That slider on the corner of the plate. 
Strike one. I think as a game plan, as an adjuster to, to hitting Hosek, I think you have to pick a pitch to hit. Yeah. You know, and get a yeah. feel for what he's throwing early. Curveball hammered into the gap. Cut off by the center fielder. Going to score play two. two. Oh, King is coming in. Great hustle double from Gavin King. You need that at the bottom of your line up there, Mitch. You do, but I, it, again, that's two sliders, right? So uh, he was getting some outs on sliders, and he chose to pick the slider to hit there. I'm not sure if that's his mentality because I'm not in his brain, but that's the thing that you have to do against Tosak, and that's the example. He loves to throw back-to-back -back sliders if he has certain, you know, if he gets that call early. So Back to the top of the order, Jackson Carter. Ooh. That hit him. This is some gamesmanship here, I think. I, I couldn't tell if it hit him or not. I, I, I thought it did, um, but he moved a little bit. But you ain't got to worry about it. You got to just make a job. There you go. I like what Chase is doing here, going yeah. out making sure you have Edgar's a conversation. doing the same, the senior league. Because Hosack, yep. he can get. Yeah. He, Emotional. Yes, We'll call it emotional. He's a fiery guy. Aww. Yeah, we'll call him. He's a fiery he is, guy. He is left-handed, so you know some <laughs> of that makes sense. Don't worry, all you lefties out there. I love you. But you guys are special. My, my significant other is a lefty. Yeah, there you go. So, two out still. Two on. Carter hit by the pitch. King at second. And Braden Weber... It makes the change Takes up. Takes ball one. That's a pitch I hadn't seen yet. I didn't realize he had himself a change up. Weber hitting 362 on the year. Curveball stays up. I know. <laughs> Ain't thinking, Mitch. <laughs> I'm over here using my phone trying to go through stats. I got to turn it horizontally to get a full set of stats. Oh, we got a man. computer that's touchscreen right in front We're of me. Real professionals over here, though, Mitch. Oh! oh a little, uh, that was a deep fly ball. I actually thought he got it. Uh, disappeared in the night. But ended up in the glove of the left fielder for Holt. Uh, came off a uh, little fiery, Hosek, uh, getting out of that inning. And, um, Coach had to get over there and calm him down, uh, get him back in because this is still a big game uh, for everybody. So you got to make sure he stays in, in check. And for the Indians, uh, we're at the number nine hitter leading off this inning, Mitch, the shortstop, Mark Hunt. Had the nice double play turn there. Got it, found it. This is a year. So Mark, Mr. Where are we at here? I can't see. I should have brought my glasses now. Here he is. He's down here. He's a senior. He is a senior. We're going to go overall stats. Click. I like this. I like this touchscreen thing. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, this is. I'm this sorry, is, man. I should have had this to you before. No, I, I mean, I, I can deal with it. I just need, a, I need no, to I be mean, better. I should have got this to you earlier. because. Oh, I that would have been helpful. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been way. Yeah. Oh, mercy. You'd like to see a big response here from. Holt, and you see it right there. First pitch swinging. He was taking Excuse a me. hack. Yeah. I got the hiccups now, so I'm going to apologize to our fans. <laughs> Ad misses in, ball one. One and one now to Hunt. Schultz at first, King at second. Curveball didn't quite get on that. Williams at uh, short, and Lonnie Land at second. Or, excuse me, third. Geez, how did I get back over to second? I have no idea, sir. Two and two. Oh! That was a great curveball by Pyle to get Hunt looking for out number one. 
Where are you going? <laughs> Edgar been... now back at the plate. Struck out his first at bat. Bunts, and it's going to get foul. I like it. You know, he was right. Land was back. Get something going. He's a competitor, so he doesn't want to give away a bat, so it had to be calculated. He's one of those guys, he's a dog, you know. He's going to do what it takes. Brian, you ever been buckled, whether it's basketball, crossed over, broke, you know, oh, got yeah, your ankles broken? Yeah. It, it, it's going to happen. I don't care what you, you know, whatever sport you've played or whatnot. At some point, somebody's going to do it. You're going to look foolish. Yeah, there's a guy that's actually has a furniture store that's in this area, Miller Furniture. Mark Miller threw me a slider one time at me. He's one of the few times he's really got me. And uh, as I buckle, I asked if he had a roll, an extra roll of toilet paper for me because he got me. <laughs> and uh, let me tell you, I was embarrassed. Edgar gets the walk. So one out, the walk, and uh, Calder Vitale now, who lined out to the right fielder his first at bat. Oh, look, we got a pinch. That's number 19, isn't it? I can't see. Strike one. That is number 19. That's Jake. I'm not. Wizard. What is it? Wizard. Wizonic. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just going to call him Jake number 19. Oh, okay. It is. Vital I had the wrong number in there, so it's my fault. Oh. I'm looking at the number wrong. My bad. We, we got it now. He's hitting a 111. And he's so, Vitaly. Yeah. 111? No. Nope. It is number 19. Do we have numbers that are backwards from. Oh, am I on the right? Ground group? ball to Williams. The pit and the turn. Good turn. And the double play. So, the 6 4 3 double play gets Pyle out of the inning after the walk. We're going to the bottom of the third inning. Score 3 0 Lions. Guys, uh, talk to us about. Uh, legacy what has it been uh, how has it helped you uh, continue to grow as players i'm really it's helped me a lot coming from a uh, double a team so two years ago um it's really helped me a lot and grow and just know my knowledge legacy performance academy is a unique sports facility that encompasses strength training speed and agility training pitching lessons hitting lessons fielding and catcher training, a recovery room with focus on injury prevention, and youth developmental and they elite do. high school baseball Little teams. Little pitch calling. Contact Legacy oh. Performance Academy at 636-579-7346, located at 633 Goddard Avenue in Chesterfield, Missouri. No, I, 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 I was with you. No, no, no. I, we, we, we were uh, just talking about technology and sports, and you're seeing some of the earpieces uh, and for the catcher, kind of helping them through some of these things that you see. We've, I've even seen it at the youth level, which I, I'm not sure I like that. I think that's a I little think it's much. A little overkill. Yeah, I think it's a little much. Nobody's stealing signs at nine. <laughs> you. Well, I, I don't. Come I would on. like to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Even if, even if it's to try to get them to work through things. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I I would like for you as you. A, I could see it. Maybe, but as a coach, I think that you just have conversations, right? Right. Let the let the kid call the game. Let the kid fail at the like call in pitches. So I think it helps them learn. Brendan Pyle, leading off against Hosack, takes a strike on the outer half. I don't mind. Hammered into left center and. One hops over the fence and back in. They didn't call it. They didn't call. They didn't put they their didn't hands up. Down. So Pyle is going into. I thought that went over. Do you? Did you? Uh, it bounced. Yeah, but they got to put their hands up. They did. Every, everybody in the the hold put it up. And then they throw it in. Well, I think Holt did the right thing by continuing. No, you keep your hands up. 
and you tell him, you let the make the blue make the call. Well, if he doesn't, you got to trust him. If he throws his hands up, they they will stop it and put him at second base. If you do not do that, the runner goes. For well, then it's, it's still it's still got a judge though, right? Like no, if no, the no, umpire, no, no, you're no. As an official, you're looking for the hands. If he puts his hands up and it bounces out, then. You don't play it. Make the official make the call. That's the way it works. So what happens if they don't make the call and he rounds he the bases? He put his hands up. Well, he did put his hands up. The center. I mean, the outfielders I didn't in, see it. I mean, everybody did. The pitcher did. The and shortstop he came did. Back, he if he went up like this, he didn't put his hands up, turn and stop and look. It's a ground rule double. You have to do that. If it bounces back in, and you play it, and he doesn't keep his hands up like that, he's running. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I'm with you, Williams. Takes ball one. I think the whole thing, with this reason why he threw it in was because the umpires didn't kill it. That's what I'm getting at. No, that's not the way it works, though. It doesn't work that way. You right. Have that's, to, what I, that's what I was suggesting. Don't play the ball. Keep your hands up. That's the way it is. And the official will make the call. The moment you play the ball, it tells the official, who cannot judge that from there, tells the official that that ball might be a home run if it stays fair and it's fair and it's out of here eric williams with a two-run shot hosack's about to get himself tossed i don't know why they're hollering he's got the line call right there He's watching it. I don't understand the argument. This is bad. We don't understand the rules, Mitch. And well, then the I, parents are getting upset at the officials, but it's not the officials' fault. It, it's not. And it, the, 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 thing, the thing that's happening here that, that I, I dislike, I love energy and I love emotion. But this young man has to control himself. There's going to be a lot of people that are looking at this young man for the next level. He cannot do that there. No, this Turn is, around and just keep pitching, man. And, and You I let the coach handle that. The official's on the line. He sees that. Yep. That's a home run. And hollering out to uh, the officials, and I explained to you, that's the way that works. This official crew has played this absolutely correct. I, I, I'm shocked that he's still in the game. And I, I have no dog in the fight. He, there he goes. This is uh, this is getting out of control. It is. You coach, see, you can see Perkle down there telling yeah. his dugout to knock it off. He can't con necessarily control the fans, but he no. needs to address the fans. But as a high school rule. You are responsible for your. You fans. are, and if he if one gets tossed, I believe the coach has to go I if someone gets so. tossed, right? So that that is a that is a part of this whole scenario here, and that's ball two. It's not going to get better. I can promise you that. Everybody just needs to calm down, play baseball, and uh, that ball is fouled back. Host, I mean, it's it is it is five to nothing in a third. Like Holt right. is good enough to come back. Keep keep the energy checked. That's a 3-1. I do like a little excitement, though. I mean, this is this has been exciting. And a ground ball foul of third base. <laughs> oh, man, they're giving him an earful. And this is why young guys don't want to umpire. Oh, I, I and get it. It's bad. And that ball is lined into center field and caught by Carter Griffin. Nice play for out number one. You know, I, I, I see it every day. It's the highest level in, the, in college. Uh, that you understand? 
you know and pros i get no uh, what i what i mean is just in general like you have things that go against you at yeah. every single level we 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 encourage our young people to mimic the best of the best right because that, that's what we want to do well we need to do it all around we need to do I it agree, between the ears. Sure. We need to be do, and, and to dug out all of it. Swing and a miss. Clee thermos now. And, and, oh, you know, people, people can beg to differ. I'm all right sure. with that because, yeah. you know, some of this may have family that might not agree with me in this situation, but he does not need to act like that. And I like Balls the young man. I think he's a heck of a, a Oh, I a love pitcher. watching Dalton Hosack pitch. This kid is – he's a competitor. And I understand the fire in him. But that – Swing and a miss. And that's how you Just respond. Just keep pitching. That's how you respond. That's right. Just keep pitching. That's how you respond. So, two outs now. Brings up uh, Maverick Schultz. Struck out his first at bat. Lined back up the middle. I love baseball. Two out. I single. love baseball. I really do. And here's the thing. This East team up and down, they have some good hitters. You saw the nine hole hit the ball in the gap. Hustle double scores uh, the first two runs. A swing and a miss here by Aiden Wheeler, who grounded out to the third baseman his first at bat. Yeah, just, the, the two young men that just got done got 20 runs scored between the two of them at the bottom of the lineup. That's good. And a slow roller. Edgar, nice play nice by play. the third baseman. And we're going to the top of the fourth inning. Score 5 nothing. What better feeling than watching your son or daughter pitch their best game, catch the game winning out, or crush a stand-up double? That comes with talent and long hours of hard work that got them there. That's exactly where Legacy Performance Academy comes in, matching the hours of work, drive, and dedication to help your athlete build a legacy that lasts. Contact Legacy Performance Academy at 636-579-7346, located at 633 Goddard Avenue in Chesterfield, Missouri. Holt comes back. Uh, it is the top of the fourth, correct? Top of four? Bottom three? Top four. Somewhere around there. I got, I got, I got duties again. I got, he said duty. Did I say that like Brian would say it? Duty. Nate Cruz, one of the leading hitters for uh, Holt. A little pitcher feeling his position. Paul's a 2026 uh, for Ford's Nomal East. Got PBR rankings if you're paying attention to him. Is uh, one of the best in the area. I think he's currently top 10 uh, for PBR. One one to Lasseter. Uh, big hack. Powell's got him down one two. Uh, 
Change up. Fooled him on the change up. Good pitch. That's the first time we've seen that for a strike today uh, from Powell. He's flirted with it a few times, but uh, executed that change up right there. Two down after the swinging forward K, if you will. Caleb Evans uh, for Holt. Firing strikes. Caleb's hitting 263 on the year. He's got 10 hits on the season. A couple runs scored and nine RBIs for the Indians. Quickly down 0-2. Pile come right back and bumping strikes for Ford's on Old East. Ball high. 1-2. One, one, I'm trying. 1-2 one, two, one, two on uh, Caleb Evans. Curveball, ground ball, second baseman. Little 4-3 in the inning. Quickly for Fort Zumwalt East, and Holt takes the field, and Hosek is back out on the bump for Holt. Legacy Performance Academy is a unique sports facility that encompasses strength training, speed and agility training, pitching lessons, hitting lessons, fielding and catcher training, a recovery room with focus on injury prevention, and youth developmental and elite high school baseball teams. Contact Legacy Performance Academy at 636-579-7346, located at 633 Goddard Avenue in Chesterfield, Missouri. Looking forward to uh, how Hosack comes out this inning after a couple calls did not go Holt's way last inning. Uh, Got to keep him staying motivated. Uh, he's obviously going to go out and compete very well for you on a bump. Uh, so hopefully he comes back here and uh, gives himself an inning and gets Holt back in there. Hello, Mitch. Hi, Brian. I I, I think I that's my first real inning. Yeah, you Full did inning? I think so. Did you tune in? I was. I was actually talking to Coach Evers out here from <laughs> Maryville. Well, that went well because that's not exactly what you want to see because there is a couple scouts out here today. Hosack on the hill here in the bottom of the fourth inning facing Gavin King. Grounds it foul. So that's 0-2 uh, now. Yeah. Ground ball to the second baseman. A little bobble, and he holds on to it for out number one. Third time around in the fourth inning here for Ford's on Walt East. And this is Jackson Carter's third time up. He's been hit by a pitch, correct? Last AB? Yeah, he was hit by a pitch and reached on. I called an error because that was a little bobble. Lasseter here um, behind the plate. He's earning his keep back there, working, you know, trying to settle Hosack down, keep him focused, keep him in this game. Because he's still that guy. Hosack is. is still that guy. One and two, the count to ja uh, Jackson Carter. It's up in the zone, two and two. One out. Oh, that's a good pitch. I thought Lasseter hung on to that. Yeah, keep 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 moving until you get it called. I like that. That's a yep. high IQ thing as a catcher. So the strikeout of Carter 
gets two outs, Braden Weber, who hit a long fly ball to left field for the out, his last at bat takes a big cut. He tried to go further that time. Strike one. And that is popped foul. Gonna it's going to get down and into the seats. Good hustle by the first baseman. Yeah, he, he made a good run at it. Yeah, that's uh, number 21, Caleb Evans. Good hustle. I believe he's another orange hair guy. <laughs> you, you won't let me say the, Go the other word. No, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> I hurt his feelings. <laughs> uh, oh, little, little check Watch swing. It. Oh, and two again. Two outs, nobody on. Hosack working to get the one, two, three here. Wear it. Wear it. His dugout wants you to wear it. You got to wear it. Missed the back toe. Two strikes on you? I'll take that one with two outs. <laughs> get me on, buddy. I don't know, man. You get hit in the back foot like that, it can get strange. It hits you there, break a toe. Come on. Team I'm guy. Serious. Team guy. <laughs> we team need first. The, we need him on the team. Team first. Man, uh, if those are that facts. hit the plate again. 60 feet, uh, five and a half inches. Is that what you're going to go? Something like that. Two and two to Weber. Fastball. Hits it back foul straight out of play here. I thought that might come back in here and hit me in the back of the head through the I'm, door. I'm looking. If one would just backspin over, I'd like to catch it with my teeth. Don't do that. You said that yesterday. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to call the rest of this game. Curveball. Nice job there by Weber. Look, Spoiling look, that. Look, look. Oh, he threw it. He threw it back to the catcher. Oh, there. He threw it back to the catcher. catcher. Tossed he handed that it. and handed, handed it to the blue. There you go, man. That's brownie points. <laughs> That's already my POG. Oh, good. Breaking pitch to get Weber swinging. Three outs. We're going to the top of the fifth inning. Score 5 nothing. Lions. Digital marketing is about cultivating a brand conscious customer or consumer. However, you cannot cultivate this mindset or relationship without being conscious of your own brand or how someone relates to it. Training, support, and development have allowed us to be the right digital marketing team for your micro business. Contact Red Earth Productions at 636 400 3199 out of O'Fallon, Missouri. That's how you like to see your response. Uh, come out there, get your team right back in the dugout. Uh, we thought that this might happen between the two pitchers today. Uh, the way that these two young men attacked the uh, zone. And unfortunately for Hosack, he had some things not go his way. But that last half inning, that is – that is. Um, I'm hoping that's what the young people got to watch was the way that he responded there. I like that. I agree. Um, that's the Hosack that is just hard to deal with. I mean, as a hitter, he had Weber so off balance on that last swing. His stuff is that good. His stuff is that good. Coaches are changing it up in there. Uh, Coach Perkle's staying in the dugout. I wonder if that's got a, more of a control thing. I think so. Make I sure don't... his team stays emotionally invested in that dugout and not elsewhere. Absolutely. I like that. That's that's some leadership right there by Coach Perkle. I like that. Yeah, that's something that's changed. Winsfield Holt has always been one of those schools that you have run into that like to chirp a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and him trying to control that there, I, li I like seeing that. Gavin Poindexter hits one deep into left field, but caught. I think that cold air by must Aiden be Wheeler. That cold air must be knocking down the baseball or something. I'm I'm not sure. I nice, thought that was yeah. I, I thought it was hit better than that. I thought it was gonna get over his head, maybe for a ground roll double or or better. So one pitch, one out. 
Ketterman now, the DH. Strike one. Line drive. Oh, oh off the end heck of, of a try glove. there by King, just off the glove. And a one-out single here for Ketterman bringing up Carter Griffin. A little life there, a little, little break. little break. For the Indians there. Let's yeah, see what so, they can do with it. And sometimes you need that back into your favor. And this is the game of baseball. At some point you have to earn your luck. Yeah. I, I believe in that in this sport. He's not even off the bag, bub. I, yeah, I didn't think that warranted a throw. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me leading off over there. I do the softball route. One step. I've got one foot on the bag. <laughs> not going anywhere. I'm not diving. If I dive, it's going to take me three and a half minutes to get up. The pitch clock, my batter's out by the time I get up. Oh, one. Here to Griffin, who grounded back out to the pitcher. His first time bat, strike two. Umpire's been there. 0-2. Oh Umpire's been there all day. He likes that outside half. Good job laying off that pitch. One and two. If you're hold here, you, you're, oh. you're looking for a crooked number. You know, Absolutely. And then you're going to go out and stop him again, try to give yourself an opportunity in a sixth and seventh. Curveball curve stays ball. up. <laughs> two and two. Tries that curveball again. Doesn't work. Three and two now. I like it. I like the thought process there, pitcher, catcher. I'm not sure if the catcher's calling the own, his own game or, you know, if he's got an earpiece in there. But I, I like the uh, double up there. You almost have to do it again here, though, with another curveball. Fastball. Fastball or changeup? Strike three. You know, we don't have a gun. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <clears throat> from back, it does. It's behind. it's the yeah. yeah. It's the depth yeah. perception. You're looking over the top of. You can't really pick up any ball movement. You can tell the difference of curveball sliders, but trying to hope that you get the velocity right. So, Mark Hunt takes go, strike one. I'll go with a fastball, Brian. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know, the spin, though, it didn't have look maybe a little more changeup, right? Well, that, I, I saw that last one well that he threw. That's a fastball. So, I think he did. I think you're right. I think he threw a changeup there. You do? Mitch. I do. I think you were right the first time. 0-2 oh, now to Hunt. Well, the one he threw before that, I looked like a beach ball to me. Curveball yep. drops out of the sky for out number three. We're going to the bottom of the fifth inning. Score Lions five, Indians nothing. We got some changes coming. Perkle's coming out. REP has a full marketing team focused on the micro business owner and entrepreneur. Digital marketing at a professional level should be accessible and affordable to the micro business community. Our team is here to provide that for your business. Contact Red Earth Productions at 636-400-3199 or at www.redearthprod.com. Based out of O'Fallon, Missouri. Good. Yeah, it looks like number eight for 24. So Hosek is coming out of the game. Um, and welcome welcome to the ball game, number eight, Riley Crowder. Uh, he's got eight games on the year. He's got two starts, so he's got some experience. 18 innings pitched for the Holt Indians, giving up um, 11 earned on the season, uh, 428 ERA. Uh, but uh, welcome to the ball game with the heart of the lineup for Fort Zumwalt East with the um, – Number three hitter leading off and pitcher, Brendan Pyle. Here's your moment, Ryan. You know, let's come in and get to face the heart of the, the Fort Zumwalt East lineup. I guess we're going to find out real quick what Mr. Crowder has uh, on the bump for Holt. I 
Oh, what I do? <laughs> so, Mitch, the line for Hosack, four innings pitch, five hits, five runs, four earned. I'm going to take – I think that one with Jackson Carter, that was an error. So, I think four earned runs. That's mine. This is an official score line. Four strikeouts and the home run. Riley Crowder. Ball one. Brendan Pyle, the pitcher leading off here for East. You know, Brendan on the on the year, uh, four forwards on Malt East. He's only hitting two forty one coming in this game, but he's got three jacks, three doubles, and a triple. Yeah. That hitting. That's this. That's why uh, sometimes batting average for me. I, I know that when I grew up watching the game, I felt like the batting average was a staple right. for decisions made on silver sluggers, things like that. And you know, you you it's you see a lot of teams getting away from that being a measurable. I think it's a sexy stat, but again, if a guy's hitting two sixty, but he's got on base percentages of three eighty, he's got slugging that's pretty darn high. You know, it's like <laughs> what what how, what kind of battles do you pick? Exactly. Ball in the be, dirt to Eric Williams. You know, a young man's hitting 241, but how do we know that he's not barreling baseballs and getting in and outs? We see him long fly balls already get outs today. He's got an 888 or something um, OPS plus. Williams with the two run home run highlighted the third inning the energetic third inning yes that's a good way to put it well it was it was from everywhere it was from the crowd it was from the dugout it was from the pitcher's mound i'm just glad it settled down i just think you know everybody got a little with the antics and the stuff we we just we just got to be better we talk about sportsmanship that's where that's where sportsmanship has to come into play that's where I talk about sportsmanship. Yeah, I, I was uh, with the trigger that we saw this plate umpire have for a young man earlier with some of the choice words that right. he used. Right. Uh, and not, he didn't throw him out. So um, no, because I don't think Hosack was, you know, um, just using some poor language or anything like that. Just but, a bo bad body language. Right, and and probably got a little carried away, and then the, the and then the coach, you know. On the or and then the warning to stop with the balls and strikes. I think that was the dugout. Yes, it he, was. It was warned. to the dugout. And then coach got his team back. But I think Coach Perkle, and that's a ground ball foul. I I want to give some kudos to Coach Perkle. He has done a great job of refocusing his team. And getting them back to playing baseball. Yep. As a former crosstown rival, it uh, hurts that I agree with you, but he did a, do a good job as a coach. <laughs> yes. You got to respect that uh, from him. Another ground ball, Lonnie Land. Quickly 0 and 2. Two on, nobody out. You should see his presence on ice hockey. You know, it's, yeah. not too, it's not too many guys that are 6'2 plus, you know, on yeah. on the ice and the way that he skates. Like, he, he can do it. He's, if he he's hits you, you're, yeah. you're going to feel hit. He, and, he, and he's rocking the uh, <laughs> stirrups, the old, like, sock in stirrups or whatever they call them. Oh. Swain, nice job by Lassiter hanging on to that pitch up in the zone and making us throwing a strike. Heck yeah, I like that. Um, you know, a lot of times guys will try to eat that when they see him not running and end up spiking that baseball into the ground and allowing everybody to move up anyways. They need to work him a little bit better over there at second base because he's going to get it. And I think there's a little bit of communication between him and the first base runner. Not <clears> out of trouble yet. <clears throat> Clee Thermos can swing this uh, stick pretty good. He's got some good pop. Big swing. swing Strike on one. I, uh, he was trying to show you. Yeah, I would like to tell you what I did, Brian, but um, I uh, have these massive forearms, and uh, I used my forearm to touch the screen. Oh, it closed so, one side. No, we'll I, get I, it here I did the minute. I minimized it, and somehow 
Ah, created we'll another whole page. In a minute. That's a strike on the outside corner, 0-2 to Clee Thermos. We'll fix it, man. Okay, I'll just let you know that I got catfish-like forearms, so. <laughs> you ever seen a catfish belly? Uh, yes. Yeah, look at these things. Yeah. It looks like a catfish looks like belly, it. don't it? That, that does. That's how I hate the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm proud of my forearms. That, there you go. I like that right there. You know the blue's been calling that pitch. Put the bat on it, foul it off, get a better pitch. Yeah, spoil it. And I, I told Absolutely. you that. Like I, I tried to explain that to you earlier, and just as a perfect example, I would stick my, you know, backside out and try to flick that fair. Right. You right. know, and I'd be over. Strike three. Well, when you dot up like that, <laughs> can I say it? Can I help you? Say yes. It. You're supposed to say no. Just looking. <laughs> Just Oh, that was a K looking. That was the K looking. That was a backwards K. Two outs. Maverick Schultz, who has singled and struck out. Two on still. Curveball. Is that a curveball oh. or the Ephus? One and the same? I think a curveball can be an Ephus. If it's at 20 miles an hour. Yeah, the Zach <laughs> Granke, uh <laughs> Ephus. Oh, mercy. Always loved it when he threw it. Zach Grinky. Yeah. Yeah. He flipped that thing up there about 60 miles an hour. Got a piece of it there. 0 oh 2. Brennan's doing his best job over there. At Crowder's base, way ahead to, right here. Yeah. yeah. Brennan's trying to do his best job of trying to throw the timing sequencing off from uh, Mr. Crowder on the bump. Williams away from first, pile at sec, and that ball is fouled back out Good of play. He just set himself oh. up right here. He should be able to flip that slow curve back up there again and get an out. Ooh, another spoil. Schultz staying alive. It's a good battle right here. Crowder not giving in. That uh, curveball keeps working it. It'll be interesting. This is where you might be able to slide a fastball by him. Yeah, that's what I was just getting ready to say. I think that opens up the fastball again. I thought that was a good place for that mm -hmm. curveball. Uh, but now it almost feels like the confidence goes back to the hitter here. Fastball in the dirt. Might have given you a change up there. But, I, I, again, you know, being down 0-2 and you, you flip that deuce up there, which is, you know, that's, a I think, a cookie-cutter call. But sometimes there's a place for that, right? And uh, flip that other. If you don't back that up, like, I, I think if you throw that 0-2 curveball, you got to throw it again. you got to throw it again. Right. You might even throw it four times in a row. And the runner goes, and that ball is hammered and fair down the play. line. Williams hustling into third, safe. Got a slide, and uh, Maverick Schultz with the two-out RBI double here in the fifth to add to the lead, 6-0 now, Lions. That was big. I, I looked over the first base runner over there. I'm not sure that he took off right away. And he did that. Every time Brennan was attempting to go, he kind of was a, a little bit late in moving with him. Aiden Wheeler. Not saying he was going to score there, just right. I get you. Observations. Who's zero for two? Oh, hit by the pitch. The eight. We, we see have it. seen a plethora <laughs> of hit by pitch, Mitch. It's it's a tale of two days at the yard for us. Yesterday we saw some. Uh, high quality execution of in the you know pitching in the zone, competing very hard. Today we've seen maybe ten hit by pitches. I know uh, right? today, and there's been a lot more free bases given today, and that may be the difference of the you know being a Wednesday because your dudes threw yesterday for the most part. Right. Um, 
you know, Hosack for, for uh, Holt through today against Pyle. But, you know, again, for the, uh, you know, the other games, it was uh, a little uh, wild. Yeah. Yeah. A little wild. Holman, that's a 1A and 1B, as we talked about. You know, we saw early, though, with Zumwalt South is, you know, Hanky throwing. He hit, but he hit like four or five, didn't Holman hit like four or five guys? Yeah, Holm, Holman hit five dudes. I don't know if, I think Hanky had a couple hit by pitch too in that game. I'd have to go back and look. Carter on deck. Gavin King already has a double and it's 3 0. Trying to figure out what uh, the second base runner Maverick Schultz is doing over there with the getting a big giant lead. If they wanted to run a little daylight play, they could probably pick him off and get out of that inning. Not sure you take that risk here, but that's ball four. And now you're back to the top of this order with Jackson Carter and a run walked in, and it's now seven nothing. Yep, nobody out there in a dugout, so this is Crowder's game. I'm going to assume this is one of those for him to finish. There's two outs, correct? Yes, Brian's there two. is. I got, I got, I got one for you. I got to ask. Well, one thing that I that that popped up. All right. Did you see the perfect game release? You know, we talked about yesterday the height fire, uh -huh. the controversy on right. the minus five, and um them coming out and talking about you know the the bat sponsor like the the very next next day the very next day which <laughs> obviously is uh whatever awfully but, coincidental yeah so they released something else today about the hype fire and it says to clarify the recent announcement perfect game has temporarily temporarily suspended the usage of so yeah because everybody's going what yeah in the middle <laughs> of the season and you yep. just announced you uh our spot have another bad sponsor immediately it felt like so they, they came out with another um, post today announcement today that ball stays up the first thing i did was think about our conversation yesterday <laughs> i was like that's perfect wouldn't you know it they're just trying to put out the fire now well it's already been lit well that's what i'm saying <laughs> they're trying i trying is put Oh, good pitch. Ran away. All, all they're going to do is repaint because the bat and call you know it something I, new. You know what I believe about the word trying, right? Well, it I is got... the lament of the failed. <laughs> and uh, that's what's happening. You know, there's very few people that uh, that when I, when I say trying is almost an excuse. That's how I kind of go about what I feel about that word. Sure. And... Um, oh. People ask me, like, what does that even mean? I was like, once you walk out on the field, aren't you already trying? Nice job by Chase Lassiter. Yeah, it's uh, a, that was a 55-footer. Yeah, it's a. you don't like those. That's actually what um, I was uh, 15 years old playing the Show Me State games. This is uh, sophomore year high school, and actually um, my pitcher threw two 55-footer knuckleballs and actually broke the cup on the second one. Oh geez! Yeah, so good pitch, inner, inner half. I am I am one of those coaches as an advocate of making sure that your athletes have proper the equipment. Proper equipment. That's right. Two and two now. Big pitch right here coming up. Bases loaded. Two outs. Two and two. The count. Laid oh. off. He chased that early in the count, Mitch. Yeah, here you go. Bases, bases juiced, two outs, three, two, two outs, and we're moving. I'm not exactly sure what the first baseman was doing there with two outs. He's playing in the whole time. I'm not sure if he was trying to guard of a bunt. I'm, I'm not sure why, but. Well, with Carter, you can never tell. Bases loaded, bunt, uh, it doesn't make sense with two outs, but I guess you never know. Here we go. Everybody's going to be running, and everybody goes. And it's fouled off. Just got a piece of that. We're going to do that. it again. You know, this is, I, I always didn't mind, like, if I was at first, second, or the batter. Well, obviously the batter. But when you're at third base in a 3-2 bases loaded situation, you take off running. I'm like, I'm trying to stay as close to the bag as I can. 
I hated getting down the line with that swing with that bat. You know, the full count running. Yeah. Bases juiced. We're gonna do it again. Everybody goes. Popped foul. Everybody gets wore out. Running from the bases. This is where the moment I just stop running. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna hit her, you're not, buddy. I'll take off and read it like a regular play. And then I get yelled at by my coach. I'm just so sucking the way air the at that point. You know, as as a as an offensive, as a base runner here, I should say, you can see where everybody's at. You don't have too much of a worry here about anybody really picking you. Oh, good pitch by Crowder to get Carter swinging leaves the bases loaded, but. Uh, the Lions get two more. It's seven nothing Lions. We're going to the top of the sixth inning. Who has time to create a video or digital marketing plan when you're busy running your micro or small business? Time is precious, and what we offer as a video production and digital marketing company is our service, studio, and creative skill. Identify your brand on any platform. Contact Red Earth Productions at 636-400-3199, located out of O'Fallon, Missouri. Ford Zone Wild East was able to uh, scratch a couple there uh, and build a lead, 7-0. Um, here we are in the bottom of the sixth, right? Bottom of the sixth, top of six? Top six. Man, I pay attention. I do much better when I'm hitting in a game. Had to go get some water. You want some water? No, I got plenty. I brought I brought a cooler. I had two uncrustables today, a bag of chips, a cheeseburger, had them and cheese some fries. And fries. Man, they're it, good over here. Yeah, I told you I wasn't kidding when I got cheese in my ear. I didn't realize I had some cheese on my hand. On your finger? Yeah, and <laughs> I went to did the old pinky in my ear. Next thing I know, it's like it's deep in my ear. I'm like, I was wondering why I couldn't hear you no more. Well, leading off the top of the sixth inning is the top of the order, Kyle Edgar. Edgar has struck out, walked, and was uh, the first out of the double play turned by East in the third inning. Definitely want to say there's some people watching us today that are out there. I got a few texts from teammates and guys that uh tune in to the broadcast so strike two that's awesome we yeah, appreciate it man we a, appreciate it i think uh this is something i enjoy big time uh, getting out here and it's a different facet for me a swing and a miss and a tag nice job by pile come out three pitches one out top of the sixth uh you know being on this side because there's days i can tell you i i do miss coaching i do miss part sure. of the I'm sure. uh you know what you build but um i also like my time now right. and this is a heck of a lot easier on the week <laughs> than trying to coach high school baseball ground ball to williams comes up fires a strike over out number two so that's four pitches here mitch for two outs <laughs> yeah it's sufficient in the six man and if you're coach hill over there you're like yep uh we need this right here uh, you know, Coach Hill talks about the game, guys, playing out of out of position. There's been some guys that had to take the day off for whatever reason. And uh, that young man that moved the third to short has done a nice job. He flipped a double play, yeah. hit the dinger. Uh, so your POGs are going to be tough for Ford Zumwalt East. Nate Cruz, who has struck out, grounded out to the pitcher. Lines one, two, Clee Thermos, and he makes the catch. And a seven-pitch inning, sixth inning for Pyle. And uh, we're going to the bottom of the six, seven-nothing Lions. REP has a full marketing team focused on the micro business owner and entrepreneur. Digital marketing as a professional should be accessible and affordable to the micro business community. Our team is here to provide that for your business. Contact Red Earth Productions at 636-400-3199, located out of O'Fallon, Missouri. Tell me why. 
<laughs> that is not good. <laughs> I had to. Are we doing 80, 90s boy bands in here? Hey. <laughs> On it that away. <laughs> I really tried there, Brian. I really did. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. It we is we that is awful. We don't want it, me singing at all, bro. It's not good. You know what? I play the drums, but I can't sing. Yeah, I uh, I realized I didn't have the ability Andy to sing. There. Wait a minute. Let's hold that. Let's give some love to the crew up. We here. did not do that yet. No, we haven't. Um, on the pictures tonight, uh, my crack crew, I couldn't do it without them. They've done a great job over this last two days, bringing you pictures, getting everything out. Uh, Lauren and uh, Drew Clutch, yep, that's my daughter. That's my son-in-law. We are a family affair here, and uh, we really enjoy it. And uh, we got Mitch along here. He's our stepbrother. <laughs> the the uh, redheaded stepchild. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna get that. <laughs> I don't. I At don't a miss ground much ball, Brian. Edgar. Oh, right off the glove. That was gonna be a tough play. Yeah, it's tough all he play. had. The infield single, or we're gonna give him a single on that. I mean, if if you, here's my theories. If you're gonna yeah. give the young man the bobble, uh huh. You know, and that's an error. I, agree. I think. I think you almost have to give it there. All right. So the E. And it is a tough play, but it uh, is. And you could argue maybe it's the high school level, so you may give that. But uh, for my purposes, I think that's it. So Pyle back up here, grounded out, uh, tripled, and was hit by a pitch. Lasseter working hard behind the plate tonight. Well, you know how I feel about that young man. I I like the two over there, and and Kyle Egger and and Chase again. I, it, this goes back to my playing days against them um i just appreciate what they do well you're coaching days against them yeah <laughs> that and, ball is uh, up you're seeing a little bit of homerness i guess if you will but um yeah well, you know it is what it when, when you got players like that though you you tend to gravitate towards that because they're like-minded and so as a as a coach you appreciate it so you start to gravitate toward that and you know you got you, for a balk and a balk so flinch the courtesy runner advancing. You know, we we talked about this with Coach Perkle, and he he mentioned Edgar Lasseter, these guys taking a role in uh, mentoring young guys. It's tough sometimes when you're a senior and you got a lot of these young players, um, you know, and staying positive, staying in there, especially when you're having a tough season. Mm -hmm. And and they're not. I mean, they're not the the. Face of Winsville anymore, you know, Liberty and and uh, North Point's being talked about because of their growth from year one to year two, and they're right. back at it again. Uh, you always have the big school in Timberland, uh, you know, kind of doing its thing, uh, which had a big win tonight against Ford Zone Walt West. Ball yeah. in the dirt, three and one. It, but this is what I love so much about these conferences, mm -hmm. uh, are the three levels of the GACs. You know the north, the north, central, and the south, and I, I absolutely love this kind of baseball. Yeah, I do too. That's a good pitch. Three and two. He froze pile on that one. I'm good right curveball. Yeah, I'm all right with that too. He ain't gonna do nothing with it if he tries to swing at it, except for ground ball. And pile is very. He know he's. He's got great plate discipline. He knows exactly what he's looking for. Um, he's he's not going to get uh, hurried or pressured with a 3-2 count. Williams on deck, and that ball's in the dirt, and that is ball four. So we got to start talking about uh, players of the game here, Mitch. What do you think? Well, we got zero on the board for Holt. Uh, so I feel like uh, Brennan Pyle has done his job. Sophomore yeah. 2026 obviously showed the ability. And Coach Hill talked about it before. That's a young man that's going to be fun to watch. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it's, it's going to be – be the pitcher. I think anytime you hit a home run at a, a field like this, um, 
that's cool. So this young man deserves yeah, an opportunity. Right. I know that he had the big home run, but you know I don't know about the rest of the game. I want, I want to see what he does with this at bat. Uh, player of the game. Oh! And a great catch by the left fielder, Gavin Poindexter, robbing Williams of an extra base hit. Yeah, I, I, that's another baseball. That was outstanding. Yeah, I actually thought there was no shot. I was like, oh, he got another one on the day, another a second homer. I thought that ball got it, or he got it. Wow, Mitch. Great play. Because I'm that, thinking player of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, well. And, that and, ball was rocket. It Right uh, next to the it brick wall. Cooler. Right? Yeah, but how about how about the play two, like running towards the wall for full speed? And that's a brick wall over there, friend. Yep. There's no padding mm -hmm. on that. So it takes some, some guts to do that. Heck of a play by the left fielder, Gavin Poindexter, for Holt. Now it's one out, two still on. And a swing and a miss by Lonnie Land. Land has a single. He's two for three. Or excuse me, one for three. Lonnie needed to do a uh, little one-timer there approach. He got down there like he was a slap shot or something from the point. <laughs> he might have hit that one. Yeah, it's still a stick. It's just a little <laughs> different, isn't it? You know what's funny is... Uh, I always try to find ways to relate to athletes, <clears throat> guys that play secondary sports, whether it's football, hockey, golf, whatever. I try to find a, a, a way to relate on body movements. We talked about the other day with all the contraptions we put on our bodies to move. And I try to talk to him about, you know, what does it take to have to, to hit a slap shot, you know, a puck on the ice. He showed me the movement and I said, just stand up a little bit taller. It's the same torque it's the same turns you know it's the it, it has similarities it's just the change of the object and i i think about these things because of what barry bond said when he's a miami marlins coach hitting coach he said if a guy throws 120 i can still hit it because if the guy can catch it i can hit it there you go because all i'm trying to do is catch it with a different object that's a great point mitch but you notice that's not a mechanical thing two and two ball in the dirt three and two there's only one way to catch it brian you know, and that and that's the thing is like I try to teach in hitting. Like I don't like to do a lot of drills. I don't I don't like to teach a lot of youth hitting. To be honest with you, is because I feel like you you teach relying on instruction to help you be a hitter during games. Interesting. You know, so I I want to teach mentality. I want to teach right. You know, the mind. Yeah. Think about cues. You're supposed to hit the baseball here if we pull it. That's ball four. You know, if you if you pull a ground ball, you did something wrong, right? But if you hit a ground ball in the air, you did something right. You hit the ball in the ground to the right side, you did something right. You know, a hard ground ball. If you hit a line drive up the middle, that's a, a line drive, not a ball in the air. You did something about. right. It's learning, you know, for lack of a bet, you know, the basic uh, learning to hit where the ball is pitched. Yeah, again, though, like if you have an inside pitch and you flare it to right field, you did right? something wrong in your swing. So well, the, sometimes that's just a jam shot, and you didn't maybe not get your hands through. I see what you you're did saying something there. wrong. Right, so right. if it's in, you got to pull the baseball in the air. Like just just think that mentality and watch what changes. Interesting, you know, for your approach to hitting, it will happen naturally if you just think simple. It, it in my experiences. 2-0 here to I, Clee Thermos. I have zero real data other than my opinion. <laughs> He's been hit by a pitch and struck out twice. Bases are loaded, one out. Here we go, Mitch. Crowder looking for the old pitcher's best friend. Three and oh. No action in the bullpen. Uh, it's his game. It, 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 we knew coming into this, and I, I, I'm curious if uh, – you know, the, the pitch calling has gone back to the coaching side or if uh, Mr. Laster is calling his game. So I feel like you got to stick to the heater. And that ball stays up in the zone, and that's ball four, and the run scores 8 nothing now in the sixth. 
they, they look good from here. I'll, I'll be honest, those pitches look good, but again, thought, it's my depth. I thought, you know, where, where he caught that, he reached up a little bit above his mask. Yeah, I, that's what I got to try to do is look at the catcher versus actually where the ball crosses because we're on the top of him. We're probably 15 feet in the air looking down. And as down. an umpire, you know, you're looking at these things. Strike. You know, as you as an umpire, you're trying to gauge because everybody's shins are different. So the strike zone starts at the bottom of the knee. Now, that's why I don't like K-Zone on the major. I, I don't either. I, I swear that I thing don't, don't move. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, not everybody's legs are the same size. So you got to adjust. Now, where is his, his bottom of his knee to where the catcher and his the his knee is at and is he catching that below it where do you see that and you're trying to create opportunities where the ball is crossing the plate because that's what you want to see and then you have so where is the top of his helmet the catcher's helmet to the top of the zone on that particular player not everybody but on that particular player right because the strike zone for lack of a better way to put it, does change with each hitter because each hitter is differently built differently. Them short strike zones, man. You get those short guys. That strike going that strike zone streaks. It's hard. <laughs> get the big tall guys. I like that. Yeah, that's why that first pitch <laughs> matters so much in the bats like that because if you get down, uh, you know, one zero to a. a, a, a Smaller strike zone, uh, it could be tough to pitch out of that. Right. And that ball is rifled down the line, and it is fair. Oh, hey, there you go. Move. You do it? Nope. And is that a gamer? That's a gamer. Maverick Schultz with another double. Ends mad, the guys. game with two runs there. Wow, that's two doubles for and the game winner right there. Schultz Had was a day. three for uh, three for four with I, four RBIs. I'm going Brennan Pyle as my player of the too. game. We may get if you're Schultz going just to that's up to you. Go ahead. I'd get both. But I think Pyle. I agree. Chase Lasseter. And I'm going to grab Lasseter. Thank you. That's a homer thing for me. I'm sure, but. Uh, I guess we'll be signing off. Uh, thank you um, for everybody that tuned in to the games. We had a lot of energy in tonight's game to start. Everybody walked away. Uh, it, 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 that was good to see. Friday Night Lights, uh, we are at Baldwin. Uh, it is Parkway Central and Rockwood Summit, 7 p.m. Baldwin. Come down and get you some concession stand food. I 100% will be. I'm excited for our first Friday Night Lights. You already know how I feel about night games. So, cool night here at Car Shield. Um, good baseball games today, this week. And we'll see you back uh, at Car Shield next Wednesday for the GAC South matchups. Till next time.